Back to our top story, legal action from the family of one dead inmate. And lots of questions from the family of another. News specialist Andrew Adams is live in Draper with the exclusive story. Andrew? Dave, this is the lawsuit filed by the family of Jeffrey Vigil, stomped on the head over 70 times after losing consciousness here. The family's wondering how that could have happened at a controlled facility. Meanwhile, a second family is raising similar concerns. Behind these guarded fences, a giant void. The only memories that I have of my little brother are the times when we were little. A void that swallows years and decades along with the people responsible for society's wrongs. He was a wonderful spirit who was poisoned, who was hurt as a child, and it landed him in prison. Sometimes, those people never return. I believe that they killed my little brother because he was a sex offender. James Corbett was murdered here in August inside his cell. Investigators say cellmate Timothy Maez, a person who had an extremely violent history, attacked him and left him unresponsive. I think that the prison failed. Brenda Johnson is echoing similar concerns to those raised by another family. How they say they left my son is, I, I can't, I can't, it's too hard to even grasp. Jeffrey Vigil was found brutally beaten, choked, and stabbed in March. Had a guard just been paying attention, we think all this could have not, never have happened. The Vigil family has now filed a federal civil rights complaint, claiming the prison was improperly staffed and trained and that guards had not heeded Vigil's own warnings days before his death about being placed with rival gang members. Why didn't they stop it? The prison is not responding directly to either case, but in a statement supplied to KSL, the Utah Department of Corrections says correctional officers make extremely difficult decisions every day based on ever-changing circumstances, and that prison employees strive diligently to provide safety. Someone's to blame somewhere. Johnson's brother, would have been released a month after he died. She wants someone to take responsibility for the void in her heart. 10 years, you know, my brother did 10 years and was just a month away. It seem, doesn't seem very fair. The Corbett family says they also plan to sue over their loved one's death. They're in the process of putting that lawsuit together. Back to you. Andrew Adams live for us tonight out in Draper. Thank you, Andrew. We're